Changing the conversation about domestic violence. One survivor using her career as a makeup artist to help other victims. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch with the story. It sucks, but you know, we have to just keep going. 11 years ago, the ex boyfriend of this woman, we'll call her Lily, nearly took her life. He claimed he just wanted to talk. He suddenly pulled out a knife from his socks, and I don't know, he just started attacking me right there. He stabbed and slashed her so violently, she spent three months recovering in the hospital. As women, we no longer feel attracted, no longer feel pretty, because we feel damaged. Makeup helped transform her life. At first, it was a necessity. I felt like I needed to learn how to hide some stuff, um, how to um, soften my scars with makeup. Each brushstroke helped her heal. Now she's a professional, and she uses her artistry to raise awareness. When people ask about her scars, she doesn't shy away, but answers honestly. That's just a great opportunity for me to speak about what happened to me, my story, and maybe help someone. One in four women and one in seven and men will experience domestic violence in your life. You know, Rachel Goldsmith of Safe Horizon says it's crucial we talk about it more. I have my left ring finger painted purple. Part of the put the nail in it campaign. She says it's the perfect conversation starter. So the goal is to take a vow to end domestic violence. Lily has proudly taken the vow and hopes her message of hope and healing reaches those in need. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. In the meantime, she says you're not alone. There are people who want to help. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. For more information on the Put the Nail in It campaign, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.